Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. We're coming to you live, as we always do. Live is more fun. But tonight with a special Inside the Issues edition of the show. There are an awful lot of issues in the news right now. A lot of them are pretty depressing. So on this Friday, we thought we would start with something that just amused the hell out of us. And here it is. Back in 2015, our government's so-called intelligence community, which is neither intelligent nor a community, announced that it was embarking on a new five-year mission. The goal, according to the Obama administration, was to funnel far more resources to every spy agency in this country. And there are an awful lot of them, the CIA, NSA, FBI, DIA, and so on. Even the Coast Guard's in-house intelligence operation was slated to get a bigger budget under this plan. Now, under normal circumstances, an announcement like that would set off fear and trembling among our opponents around the world. They'd be shaking in their caves. The Chinese might think twice before bribing more Harvard professors, or before sending Eric Swalwell a new secret agent to have sex with, and he needs one. But in this case, on the day of this announcement, they just laughed because they knew that money was not going to buy more drones. We weren't getting more sophisticated surveillance equipment or more agents in the field. No, that money was earmarked for new platoons of equity and inclusion consultants and HR administrators. The point of the money was to make the intelligence community more diverse, meaning less white and less male. Finally, America's spies would look different. And that is essential if you want to, to, well, actually, we're not sure why it's essential. What do the race and gender of intelligence agency employees have to do with keeping America safe? Well, they never told us. Instead, they repeated something that we had heard once or twice before. They said, diversity is our strength. Knowing our diversity is our strength and our unity is our power. And I say to them, our diversity is our strength. Our diversity, our patchwork heritage is not a weakness. It is still and always will be one of our greatest strengths. Our diversity is one of our greatest strengths. I think this is an opportunity to establish that out of our diversity comes an enormous, enormous strength. How does that work exactly? Shut up. Just read the cliche. It's on the card. Whatever. It's enormous strength. And by that measure, we are now officially much stronger. The Office of the Director of National Intelligence has just released this proof of it. It's called the Annual Demographic Report for Fiscal Year 2020, Hiring and Retention of Minorities, Women, and Persons with Disabilities in the United States Intelligence Community. That's the title, and you're gonna to wanna to get a copy in time for Christmas. Not to read it, it's not meant to be read. In fact, it's unreadable. But for the pictures, the pictures are amazing. There's one on the screen. We now have conclusive photographic evidence that our spy agencies employ several people with different color skin. There's even a woman in a wheelchair. There's also a man who appears to be blind. Now, how do we know he's blind? We don't make assumptions like that. But in this case, he's got Ray Charles glasses on, a cane, and a seeing eye dog. That seems like a lot for one man. Remember, the best spies have a backup plan. Let's say Russian assassins come after our blind intelligence agent as he's picking up a dead drop of microfilm in a park in East Berlin. Somehow they manage to take out his seeing eye dog, maybe with a net. It's okay, he can manage because he still has both the cane and the Ray Charles glasses. And by the way, we assume the cane shoots curare darts. At the CIA, they think of everything. That's their job. But what is the blind guy's job exactly? What does he do in our fabled intel community? How is he keeping America safe? We don't doubt that he is, but how? Well, we don't know because the report doesn't tell us. Nor does it explain whether there seems to be some sort of dark halo around the lower part of the blind man's body in the picture. What is that exactly? Is it spy vapor? Another question. Where are all the old people? A lot of Americans are pretty old. The intel community says it's diverse, so where are the secret citizens, senior citizens? Where are the 80-year-old super spies? You would hate to think that for all of its famous sensitivity, the Biden people fell prey to ageism. We may need a class action suit to sort this out. And while we're at it, honestly, we didn't see any trans women, non-binary pansexual two-spirits, or a single person from Malawi. So that picture, which we greeted with joy because of its strength, is starting to look problematic. And in fact, it is problematic. 
According to freelance intelligence analysis on Twitter, experts on digital manipulation, that image, the one on your screen, is not real. Those people were never in the same room at the same time. Some of them don't even work for the federal government, maybe none of them. The whole thing is a disinformation campaign. It's a Soviet-style fake. We're serious. Apparently, the American intel community sent, spent some of its diversity budget not to achieve diversity, but instead to buy a stock image from the website Shutterstock. The picture you just saw is entitled, quote, Portrait of Multicolored Cultural Office Staff Standing in Lobby. Now, you could buy that picture, too. You could put it on your next Christmas card if you wanted to, and maybe you should. But apparently, the stock photo of multicultural office staff wasn't multicultural or diverse enough for the Biden people. So they inserted two other stock images into the picture. One of those stock images is also available on Shutterstock. You could buy that for your Christmas card, too. It's called, quite literally, Blind Young Man with Guide Dog on White Background, which is what it is. The other is entitled, again, quite literally, Beautiful Businesswoman with Tablet Computer in Wheelchair on White Background. Huh. So those aren't really Intel agents. They're stock photographs from the Internet. Now, on one level, this is good news. You can make fun of it. But honestly, the Intel community hasn't really outed the identity of its most attractive wheelchair-bound spy or its blind 007. So they're safe. They're not going to get nabbed in that park in East Berlin. Their identities have still been masked. But there are a lot of other episodes from this lesson, lessons that we honestly are ill-equipped to diagnose ourselves because we haven't thought deeply enough about it. And that's why we are proud tonight to introduce Adam Kroll. He is, of course, a comedian. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.